Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today is another episode of Calm a Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health and uh, I thought we'd just do a sit down chatty get ready with me. I do have a few new products to try and just some that I really want to play with some more. So I've done my skincare and I have my Madage Beauty lip balm on. It's the Lip Envy Lip Balm in Strawberry. Oh, I love this. So for primer, I have the Too Faced Proactive Nourishing Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Oh, I might have taken a bit too much there. Yep, definitely too much. <laughs> All right, well, we'll know for next time then. <laughs> so how are you guys feeling? Have you had a good week? Mine's not been so great. Where they've been uh, weaning me off of the predisnolo, I can't say it. Where they've been weaning me off of one medication, I have been in so much pain and most nights I have been lucky to get an hour's sleep. I think last night I had oh less than two hours. <laughs> and so I am shattered. My skin is screaming at me as you can see. This feels really nice. It smells like like coconut and uh, for foundation I thought we'd stick with Too Faced and use the Too Faced Born This Way I do really love this foundation so uh, let's see how it's if uh, if it doesn't go on nice then I know it's the primer and not the foundation I did want to say a massive thank you to you guys. This, the amount of fair supportive comments I've had this week has just really blown me away. I, I love you guys so much. I cannot thank you enough. So where I've been in so much pain and and stuff I've been getting really down and you guys have really picked me up it's just been so kind of heartwarming to read the the comments from you it's definitely leaving a very dewy finish I got too hot there so I've had to take the cardigan off excuse my skin my skin's just breaking out all over so just sticking with the Too Faced theme. I've got the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm just going to use this for the general spot concealing. Yeah, I think having that primer really does leave a, a really moisturised base. So yeah, my skin's definitely looking very dewy. Mm. And then just for brightening up, I've got the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in light sand. So today I thought I'd grab a few bits out of my uh, box of shame, my box of makeup I have but haven't used yet. Because uh, there's still quite a lot in there. <laughs> Right for cream contour, I'm going to go in with my Sosu contour stick in Cool. It's the perfect shade for me. I love how easy this is to blend out. When it first goes on, it does look a little dark, but it does blend lovely. I do have another one of the Fenty Beauty Cream Blushes, the Cheeks Out, 
and it is the shade Summertime Wine. So this one here. Okay, that's very, very pigmented. You really don't need much. Wow. Wow. Okay then. That is very pigmented, but it does blend lovely. Alright, and for powder, I'm going to be going in with the OPV Beauty Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I do love this powder. It's a really nice one. And just set the rest of my face. I'm really loving cream products at the moment. Cream contour, cream blush. I really want to get a cream bronzer. I just think it kind of gives you that really nice base to, to start out with. So, before we go any further with the face, I'm just going to go in and do my brows. I've got the LA Girl Brow Pomade in Dark Brown. It's, uh, it seems to be drying up a little bit, but not as bad as the other ones that I've had. So, we shall see. So I just get a bit on the brush and then I just kind of put it in the lid and then flatten my brush each side um, I always use this Morphe one for some reason it just seems to work far better so I like to just draw it like like I'm just drawing the singular hairs in So yeah, that's how I do my brows. So I'm just going to nip off and pop the other one on and then we'll continue. Alright, so for contour, powder contour, I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Cocoa Contour. So, it's a lot of Too Faced today. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be going in with the medium contour for round my face and then the light contour. For my nose and then I use the medium highlight for brightening up any areas that need brightening. I love the smell of this as well. It smells like chocolate. Definitely the healthiest way to enjoy chocolate. So I'm in a bit of a kind of catch-22 at the moment because because of the medication that I'm on I'm putting on a lot of weight but because of how low I'm feeling because of all the pain and just the, the not going out and feeling pretty useless, I've been turning to food. So I'm kind of stuck a bit at the moment between, uh, between not knowing what to do. So yeah, at the moment I'm kind of feeling really low and eating loads um, but then feeling really kind of low because of how much weight I've put on and that's a lot I've uh, gone up two whole dress sizes since October and I do have to say it's getting me down and I am aware that also because I can't move around much because of the pain that you know, I'm not doing anything else to to get the weight off, to burn up the the calories as such. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where where I'm at at the moment. So yeah, my makeup, my channel, it's really kind of been my happy place. Yeah, you guys help me more than you will ever know. 
and some brightening up just under here And then for bronzer, I'm going to be going in with the Kiko Milano Unexpected Paradise Bronzer in 02 Universal Sienna. And this is the size of that. It's huge. I do love this product. It's another one that smells nice. It's like coconut. Which reminds me of summer. Sitting outside with a pina colada. Who knows when we'll be able to, uh, to do that again. Yeah, whilst we're uh, not allowed to do much and I'm not really getting out anyway, I still haven't left the house since October. Um, so we're, we're faking the tan. Try and fake that healthy looking glow. So for eye primer, I'm going to be going in with my ABH eye primer. This is such an amazing eye primer, I love this. So for eyeshadow, I'm going in with the Warrior 3 by Juvia's Place. And these are the colours we have to play with. I already know what I'm doing, I think. <laughs> so I'm firstly going to be going in with Fanti pink and just taking that on a Morphe fluffy brush and I just want to take this right the way through my crease like it's kind of a neony kind of pink hmm. it's definitely one that requires a bit of building but it is building up nicely just making sure that's really nice and diffused at the edges there I'm not noticing any kick up in the pan with this colour hmm yeah, that's looking pretty good. So next I'm going to be going in with Candace, the Deep Purple. And just on another Morphe fluffy brush. Again, no real kick up in the pan. And then Candace, I just want to take right on the outer V here, outer edge I'm just dragging that just a little way into the crease there I do have to say so far this is going pretty good And just going back in with some of Fanti, the pink there. I'm just going to be using that to go over the edge there. And just back in with the purple. going back and forth between the the two colors just to get a really nice even blend there I'm just going to pop on some NYX glitter primer and then we will continue okay so glitter primer on I am going to be taking Congo and placing that all over my lid this 
is a beautiful shimmer. Juvia's Place really do know how to do shimmers. Look at that. Pink and blue is one of my favourite combinations. Right, and then just going back in with some of the purple Candice. Just want to deepen up that outer V there, just to kind of blend them together a bit. So just taking it over the edge of the shimmer. Right, and then I'm just going to drag that purple down onto the lower lash line there. And then just a little bit of Fanti the pink. Just to really blow that out. Alright, I just want to take some of that blue shimmer there and just bring that just a little way on the lower lash line there. So yeah, I'm happy with how that's looking so far. So I'm going to nip off and do liner and lashes, etc. And then I'll come back to continue the look with you. So don't go anywhere. So I popped on some mascara, eyeliner and lipstick. I'll just let you know what I've used. In my waterline, I've got the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Tutu Turquoise. The mascara is the Madeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. I love this. I thought I'd go without falsies today just to show you uh, actually how good this is. My lashes are the straightest, most uncooperative lashes ever. And uh, I don't think they look too bad. So yeah, I'm really enjoying this one. Really enjoying it. And the lipstick I have on is the Flexi Stick from Ofra in the shade Velour. Right, so for blush, I am going to be going in with Typhoid Mary from Pout and Shout. And she looks like this. Oh, how beautiful is this blush. I know I'm always raving about these blushes, but I absolutely love them. I have other blushes to try and I just keep going back to these. I can't help it. They're just so perfect. Just look at that. For highlight, I'm going in with the Kaleidos Space Age Highlighter in the shade Skywalker. I think I'm going to be using this for the inner corner and brow bone highlight also. I don't think any of the shades in the palette would be uh, any good for inner corner and brow bone highlight. Look at that. And I'll just take the blusher brush just to kind of buff them together a bit. So I've just got this uh, little tiny flat shading brush. The Detail Shader from Zoeva and I'm just taking a bit of Skywalker just on the very inner corner there. Oh, look at that. And just taking a bit of that up under the brow here. Oh, it's like the perfect shade. And then just taking the brush that I had the pink on, just to make sure that's blended together. And 
and then lastly just taking my makeup obsession so dope fixing spray i love this so yeah this is the finished look let me know in the comments section below what do you think of this look do you like it and what do you think of the uh lack of false lashes i thought we'll just give give my lashes a go with the new mascara and uh yeah i'm not hating it at all it's definitely not something that i would do all the time because i do love my false lashes but i just wanted to showcase this mascara and what it can do so uh here we are so yeah i think that is it from me for today if you've liked this video please give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out if you're new around here then i hope you will consider sticking around and subscribing i do a lot of colorful makeup looks i'm a lover of all things makeup and in particular indie brands i do love to support indie brands that is really where my heart lies so if that sounds like something that you would be interested in then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that youtube notifies you the next time i upload so all that's left to say is thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thank you for all of your amazing comments this week. They've really lifted me up. Thank you so, so much. So I hope you are all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.